YouTube? It is I, the Amazing Atheist. I want to talk to you about a porn star by the name of Sasha Gray. Retired porn star by the name of Sasha Gray. Porn star, star of uh, such films, films, as Anal Acrobats 1. I love that. Nowhere else in Hollywood do they have that sort of confidence. They'd never be like, Hellboy 1. Because they don't know if they're going to make a sequel. But in the porn industry, they're like, oh yeah, Anal Acrobats is gold. There's definitely going to be an Anal Acrobats 2. So just call it Anal Acrobats 1. Uh, she was also in, uh, you might remember this film, uh, Buttman's Stretch Class 2. Stretch Class. Buttman. Stretch Class. Uh, Massive Facials, that's a good one. I think she was up for an Oscar for that, if I remember correctly. Uh, and, and my favorite of all the titles that I looked at on her IMDb page was probably Cum Fart Cocktails 5. I like that because it doesn't even sound appealing. Cum Fart Cocktails 5! There were four of them before this one even... Okay, I... I hey, whatever. You know, banana boy here, I can't judge. So anyway, uh, the reason I'm talking about Sasha Gray is because she read to some elementary school students, and um, uh, that's it. <laughs> she, she went to this school, Emerson Elementary, in um, Compton, California, and she read to the students. Um, she didn't read anything smutty to the students, just, you know, children's book, appropriate for their age group. And, um... She did it for uh, Read Across America Day, I guess. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's what she did it for. And um, apparently the parents at the school were not happy about this. They were angry. They were like, ah, how dare you? My child's mind was corrupted by being in the presence of someone who was once in some porn films even though that was in no way mentioned to my child, somehow her being in porn corrupted my child by sheer osmosis. And yeah, so the parents are angry. I, I don't know. Uh, this is what, what um, uh, Sasha Gray had to say. I committed to this program with the understanding that people would have their own opinions about what I have done, who I am, and what I represent. I am an actor. I am an artist. <laughs> um, okay, all right, fine. Actor, maybe, you know, when you're getting like two fists rammed inside you at once and you're acting like, I enjoy this, then I'm, okay, I can see actor there. Um, artist? Eh, well, I'm, okay. You want to have a liberal definition of the word artist? That's fine. I am a daughter. Okay, well, every woman is a daughter, so that's not really much of an in-group. That's like, I fucking breathe oxygen! Who's with me? <laughs> okay. I am a sister. I am a partner. I have a past that some people may not agree with, but it does not define who I am. I believe in the future of our children, and I will remain an active supporter and participant in education-focused initiatives. She's talking like a politician there. Education-focused initiatives. The point is not the cock that I stuck in my ass. The point is the children. The children need me. Okay, so... Um, for these fucking asshole parents who are acting like this is anything to be even remotely fucking upset about, I gotta ask you, where did your children come from? Were they dropped off by the stork? No, they weren't. The stork doesn't even know where the fuck you live. You shot some jism into your wife, and she shot out a little baby. And now you're gonna act all high and mighty? because maybe Sasha Gray did it in a few different holes than you did. I mean, I know that the holes are different and that a camera was present and some purchases were made, but were the activities altogether different at the core of them, at the essence of them? No, they weren't. And you know they weren't. You're a bunch of hypocrites. 
Every kid in that classroom exists because you had sex, parents. So don't act like Sasha Gray is a member of some dark underground. The porn industry is a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? multi ba 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 billion dollar industry. And that's because, and, and that's just the people who pay for it. That's not counting the people like me who don't pay for porn. This is the small minority of men and women too stupid to get free porn. So they go and pay for porn, and it's still a multi-billion dollar industry. And you want to act like she's from the dark recesses of our society, the, the, de the deep fringes, she's on some lower caste that your children cannot associate with? I don't fucking think so. You can't have your cake and eat it too, America. You just gotta eat your cake and watch as it turns into shit. I don't even know what that means, but it kind of sounded good, at least in my head. This other story that I want to talk about is kind of a little bit more serious, so I have to put on my serious face. Um, this concerns the Penn State debacle, but please don't change the station. Station? Oh well. Um, this does not have anything to do with Joe Paterno, because I don't give a fuck. A lot of people are like, yeah, Joe Paterno! We believe in you! We flip this van for you! We riot for you! And then other people are like, he's a scum fuck! He, we believed in him and he let us down! <laughs> You know, so we got the, the, the rioters, and then we got the moralizing douchebags. And I actually think the moralizing douchebags are, are more reprehensible to me, simply because they're moralizing douchebags. And I feel like my logic is, is pretty solid there. Uh, but I want to talk about this guy, Mike McQueary, because he's getting death threats. Now, he's the one that actually walked in on this guy, Jerry Sandusky, uh butt-fucking a child in the shower. And um, Mike McQuarrie was, was going into the locker room to bring back some recruiting tapes. Uh, he was a graduate assistant at the time. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna bring back these recruiting tapes. And I guess he turns a corner and, you know, man on boy sodomy. That's, you know, no warning. Uh, and then people are mad that he didn't, like, intervene, that he didn't, like, stop it right then and there, like, drop the tapes and say, hey! How dare you! I am Batman! Raw! <laughs> you know, um, he's not a vigilante, folks. He's not a fucking crime fighter. And it's not like he knew and prepared himself for what was around the corner. He's just walking around on a normal day like any other. I'm bringing these recruiting tapes back. And then all of a sudden, what is this I'm looking at? I must go now. I mean, it's really easy for people to look at someone else's actions and talk about what they would have done differently, but until you're in a situation like that, you really don't know. You really just don't know. I mean, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that Mike McQueary did try to put a stop to it. He's like, hey, get off that kid. And then let's say, like, Jerry Sandusky is like, oh shit, and he, like, runs after Mike and punches him in the face, and he, Mike gets knocked down and, like, cracks his skull open or something and he dies, or even just gets severely injured. How did that help anything? That didn't help anything, the kid still got fucked, and Mike is just fucked up and, or dead, and, and nothing was solved. The same shit happened, it was just made worse by his interference. Now I agree the guy should have called the police and stuff, but to say he should have intervened, to say that he should have you know, uh, opened up his fucking uh, shirt to reveal the Superman logo and put a stop to that right there on the spot? I mean, hell, he probably needed an hour just to process what he saw. He was probably in shock and denial and just, you know, like, okay, it couldn't have been a child. I mean, maybe it was just a really small, hairless man. Or maybe it was just a really flat chick. Okay, maybe it was a young boy, but like 15 or 16, you know? And he just looked younger. Nah, I was a child. Fuck. I gotta tell somebody. I'll tell my dad. He'll know what to do. So the guy went to his dad, someone he views as an authority figure, someone he views as, my dad will know what to do. So he goes to his dad, he tells his dad, 
And his dad's like, I'm going to tell, you know, Joe Paterno. And then Joe Paterno's like, I'm going to tell the head administrator of the university or whatever. And then, you know, nothing happened after that. I mean, you know, hey, everyone went to the next authority figure. Everyone said, I really don't want to deal with this problem. I'm going to hand it to my higher up. I'm going to hand it to someone I view as an authority figure. And that's all that happened. And then people are going to want to, like, judge everyone along the line as if they would have acted differently, as if human nature is different for them than it is for all these people. I mean, don't you think when you have numerous people involved, each of which turns to the next authority figure above them for how to deal with this situation, don't you think that's more than just indicative of one person's character flaw and more indicative of human nature, or at least the nature of people in this culture? Do you really think you'd behave differently? Maybe you would now that this case has informed your thinking and you see how the outside world will judge you, but if this had happened to you in that time and in that place, do you really think you would have been the one to buck that thinking, the thinking of that atmosphere? Because I severely fucking doubt it. Quit trying to judge others. Quit trying to be like, oh, I am morally superior to those people. Because you're not. That is you deluding your fucking self. Shut up. Or hell, I don't know. Maybe you are the one person who uh, stands up and does the right thing. Could be. I doubt it. It could be. If it makes you feel better to tell yourself that, then who am I to put a stop to it, right? Who am I to rain on your fucking parade? Who am I to piss on Christmas? I'm the Amazing Atheist. That's who. Peace the fuck out. Oh, and um, as psychologically traumatizing as what happened to that kid in the shower was, we can console ourselves by knowing that at least he wasn't read a children's book by a retired porn star. Because that would have really fucked him up.